All right, guys. Welcome to Star Wars Wednesdays with me, Sith Llama. This is Knights of the Old Republic again, of course. Uh, and no need to wait around. Let's jump right back in. Where were we? We were on our ship. And our little icon is starting to look decidedly evil down there in the corner. I think we just talked to Candace about some more stories, but let's check. Yeah, what do you want? I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you, but I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. Okay. In one battle above the world of Althea, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. All right. Uh, tell me the story. For five days, they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheory would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Okay. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. These, uh, the Altheory, not, not the brightest guys. They weren't stupid. Stupid races don't make starships and weapons of mass destruction. Well, all right, but that's fair. They weren't masters of the arts of war as the Mandalorians are. Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening, a mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. Sounds good. Uh, you were a great warrior. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. People, Several one of the great Sith is among us, Darth Vader. The rings to escape <laughs> us. They were yeah, no, Darth Vader, this game is my childhood as well. Or were destroyed by our That's why I can't uh, help but enjoy Warriors myself playing it. flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you want to know? Nope, that's it. Your choice. <laughs> I'm here if you want something done right. All right. Don't think... No, we haven't gone anywhere, so there's no... Stowaway yet? Nope. There's nobody down there. Oh, hey, Juhani. I guess I'll talk to you. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. Oh, Vader. Absolutely. I I want the I want the Revan arc to be cannon again so badly that I can taste it. You know what? Fuck it. Next time you try something like that, I'll kill you. I realize you have justification, but that anger only leads to the dark side. Please do not fall into the same trap that Fuck you, Jihani. I am not as weak as you. The dark side is most devious and deceptive. It can find the smallest weakness to exploit. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Ha! Unlikely. Look me. I will do what it takes to redeem myself in the eyes of my peers. I will succeed. Sure, sure. I will sure. prove myself to you and to everyone. I will be a faithful companion to you and Bastila as long as our journey may last. Yeah, yeah, fine. Salvar, you have nothing to say, neither does T3! Do we have Bastila yet? Hey Bastila, you're still not wearing any clothes, because I keep forgetting to give you any. How can I help? You wanted to speak to yes, me. I, did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission, and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. 
Vader, yes. Please, give us more, like, pre-Republic uh, canon. I want more pre-Republic canon. I want as much of that as we can get. I'm actually legitimately excited because I've heard that there's uh, rumors that they're actually doing either a remake or a reimagining of this game. And that would be awesome because that would probably be canon. Is it true that you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. So who killed Revan, then? Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malik did your job for you. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. Yep, that's because no the Jedi are weak and useless. No what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malik were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. I'm right on board with you, Vader. I'd like to know more about you, Bastila. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. So the Jedi separate children from their families? Assholes. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger. Vader, let's try it and keep the spoilers to a minimum. While I love this game and have played it many times, and I'm sure you have too, let's try to keep spoilers down for the people that haven't played it before. That sounds idiotic. I would never agree to that. The gift of the Force comes with a high cost. That said, you're Sacrifice absolutely right. Fucking lying Jedi scum. A Jedi must be willing to pay. It's you totally cool. You didn't know. To the dark side. <laughs> but you're you're absolutely right about the Jedi being lying scum, though. They act all high and mighty, but really they just manipulate everybody to their own ends. Uh, let's see. I wasn't paying attention. Um, all pretty to the dark side. And what's so wrong with that? Please, you mustn't say things like that. The dark side is destruction and chaos. The opposite. Of destruction, chaos. I'm good with that. I skipped that by accident. The opposite of all that gives the universe order and purpose. You have to understand that. You need to lighten up. And you need to be more mindful of your responsibilities. Have you any idea the danger a fallen Jedi represents? Not only to yourself, but to others as well. Nope. This seems wrong not to be allowed to love. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to Oh yeah, the Jedi all about emotion. rational thought. The Jedi must be above such things. It, that's right, Vader. Fucking assholes that they are. They didn't even try. They're like, oh, everybody is equal and worthy and all that, but we're not even going to try and stop uh, slavery. Because that would be interfering, and Jedi never interfere, even when it would help everyone. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Um... Who weren't you on good terms? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. Hmm. 
You never tried to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Sound like so you're reciting from a fucking I must do what is needed. Personal desires textbook. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. If a Jedi were to love, surely it wouldn't all be all bad. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. <laughs> she looks uncomfortable. Barth, you got anything to say? Yes, what's in your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? Yep. I'm always up for a good fight. So I've seen. If I were Malak, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. Vader, you're absolutely right. Not all Sith are evil. I happen to be, but that doesn't mean that they all are. Some of, uh, some of them do it for the right reasons. Fine, you can stuff your reasons then. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Actually, Five I don't. I said stuff your reasons. I had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? Mm. Why is it so of personal? Of course the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, however, who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined Beta, them... Absolutely. We worse. control the, the Force. Not The, the Force does not control us. They deserve no mercy. That is the nature of the Sith's power. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve That's that. actually not true. I've done a lot to deserve that, actually. Let's just continue He's we completely doing. lying but... there. I have done a lot for him to expect the worst in me. <laughs> oh... One note dialogue. How precious. Uh, oh, wait. No, I don't. Ah, fine. Whatever, I don't care. I don't even want to get off the ship. Okay. Where should we go first? I'm really not sure. I guess we'll go to Yavin first, but I mean, th that's not even a real planet in terms of... I mean, we're going to a space station. Ooh, so pretty. Vader, you're not wrong. I mean, it certainly was your undoing. Yeah, you did not have the high ground, and you were not... You you did not uh, respect the power of the high ground, more importantly. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how That's she true, Maul did have the high house. ground. She was In fact, he had the only Arthur ground. Rossi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. Hmm. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes. Lord I guess that means that even, uh... The high ground can be defeated by the right Jedi. Interesting. How did you acquire or by the force power uh, important to the plot. That's a reasonable thing to, uh, to think. You're certainly more powerful than he is. A Jedi and a war hero. 
It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Carath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Mm, yeah, I think he will be interested. Yavin is a really gorgeous planet. Like, as gas giants go, that's a pretty one. Yeah, Malik, Mr. Metaljaw is, uh... I mean, he's got style, let's be honest. He did just, like, destroy an entire planet to try and take out one person. There's style there. Something's not right, you say. Mm, someone is stealing food. Fine, I'll check out the food stores. Yeah. To be fair, his jaw is gone. So it's actually like a prosthetic something or other. I don't know. Someone has been stealing food. Examine more supplies. It was not animals. It must be a person. There must be a stowaway. I have to run around the ship until it tells me where they are. The footsteps are behind me. Oh. There are more footsteps. There are more footsteps. I don't remember Malgus. Which one was he? Hey, it's Sasha. Kipuna. Bona nakichu. Get out of here! I want you out of here! Off my ship! I don't care! Off you go! Now! <laughs> Suck it up, sister! Find someone who cares! Oh, I remember Malgus now. Yeah, no, he did. Uh, alright, fine, fuck it, I'll do your little quest. What are you doing here? Yeah, I can't understand you. Don't understand what you're saying, I still don't understand you. How long have you been here? Alright, hey, tell me your name. Right to learn her language. Alright, I'm just gonna spam my way through this, because legitimately, this is just takes forever, and I just have to select every option. But I'm just trying- she speaks like some sort of like bastardized form of Mandalorian, and I just have to figure out how to learn how to speak it. Don't 
Mucho There we go. I learned her language. And I got some experience. Good, now I can tell her to leave. I don't care if you're scared, go. I don't have time for this out. Whoa. No, no, no. Can't let her get away. I need her for infinite dark side points. Let's see, where are we on dark side points now? Not quite max. There we go. Maximum dark side points, and we cheese the game! Dun da da! Alright, she can leave now. She'll be fine. Surely someone on Yavin gives a shit. Oh wait, that's right, no one will be able to understand her, and there's only one person that lives here, and a bunch of Trandoshans that probably eat young- eat human children that visit. So, you know, maybe she won't be alright. <laughs> yeah, it was Davik's ship. I guess you could say I'm new. Open the door. Force Persuade is my friend. What brings me here? Mm. I'm looking for a map. Uh, ruins of Exar Kun's War. Yes, please. More of that. Hmm. What are you doing here then? MLG, why do you ask? It's actually not, my persuade is very low. Are you asking because I persuaded him to open the door? Because uh, I totally force mind tricked him to do that. Because, you know. Why convince people when you can just change their minds for them? Do you have anything you'd like to sell me? Fair enough. Oh, MLG, that's probably not true. At least not in IRL. In game, I mean, you can fix that. I always like high charisma because I like convincing people to do stuff for me. Especially stuff that is bad for them and good for me. Let's see, you are selling nothing I care about right now. Except this. I'll buy that. Oh, I can't buy that. And I sell stuff to make make it so I can buy that. Wait, hold on. What am I wearing? Oh, Jedi Knight robe. Uh, sell me something. 
buy something from me. Um, who am I? Okay, so I think for my final party, if I get the choice. Oh, MLG. Keep it up. It'll be worth it. If you enjoy it, you should keep at it, even if it's hard sometimes. I think my final party is going to be... Juhani and HK, who we don't have yet. So I won't need any armor. Or a Vibro Sword. Or... Is that my lightsaber? Not sure where I got that one. I don't know. Um... There's probably a lot. We won't need that, or that, or that. I have a power belt sitting around? Okay. I don't really use stimulants. The only purpose of mines is to sell them. I'm not going to need those, or that, or that, or that, or that, or that, or that, that, or that. Actually, I might need one of those. Let me go back to the buy list. I might need one of those and one of those. And one of those. Um, If I buy this shield, I'm not going to need that or that or this. Okay. Now that sucks, MLG. But I know how that is. That's how, uh, that's how Dorble Doodles is right now. She's basically had to give up on streaming during the semester, because her schedule is totally packed. Uh, yes, this is the thing I wanted. Okay. Suvam Tan, I think we're going to have a very productive business relationship in the future, but not right now. And let's go back to the ship. Now for the real decision of where do I go, but only after I try to talk to Candrus. Yeah, what do you want? War stories? I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. Well, gee, that's awesome. I actually have a uh, butterfly knife um, multi-tool that I use as a trainer. Quietly, so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on. I can't do much, just a couple when of like super basic opens worlds, they had and no closes, we but we it's fun times. I enjoy it. Corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight or wouldn't fight was crushed. We raised whole Good. worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake, but the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. Mm, you had no choice but to destroy them. They had a choice not to fight. We meet the enemy wherever they are hiding and we wipe them out. A few cities is a small price to pay for a world. Hiding in the homes of civilians, using families as shields, thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve, and what measures are acceptable in war. Damn right. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. This is why I like the Mandalorians. See, that is my there kind was of no warfare. no honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. You mean when we kicked your tails? Later, when Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. 
Is there something else you want to know? Nothing now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Yeah, uh, Candris, I want many things done right, and I wish I could take you with me all the time, but I do want a Jedi Guardian on the field of battle. Or do I? Fuck, I can't decide. Wait, I should... I should talk yes, to people again. Your mind? Fine, we'll continue our I discussion. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, but I'm bored, so spit it out. Cute. Nice to know you're so full of concern. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt, though. I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. Yeah, MLG, I, I can't possibly him, guess why you're left. interested. And if huh. Again. It couldn't possibly have anything to do with TF2. Sarcasm, sarcasm. How could you have not seen through that? I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Yes. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. Yeah, MLG, I did. I used verbal I, I it, it was super effective. Boy, purple. And that's why you feel so sorry don't for yourself? Don't start with that. I don't feel sorry for myself. I feel angry at Saul and all those others. It's all I can think about sometimes. No, I fought good. Saul for years Anger now. is I good. Catch up to him, Give in to your anger. He will regret what he's done. He will regret it. I do the same thing in your shoes, I guess. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Fine. Be a whiny bitch. How can I help? Death to Karth. I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what Purple not you're not allowed to. Since you're training at the hands of Master But why do you want to? Eh, I think we both know the real reason you've been watching me, Bastila. You never give up, do you? I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a nope. great gift. No purple. You have an awesome command. Why do you even force, want to? And I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. Hmm, I make you tremble, huh? You get all tingly inside, too? What? I, no, of course not. Not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... You are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold... Sounds good, MLG. Upon us all. I've seen you give in to temptation... Purple, why did you stay up so late? Your emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. Hey, you, you got it in one, Bastila. in its entirety. Oh, well, that sucks, Purple. I'm sorry. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. It happens to a lot of us when we're young. Nope, Purple, that's not the answer. The answer is just get older so that people are less dicks. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and... And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Mm, you seem to know that temptation very well. I'm no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. 
We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? The kind of person I already am. Let's see, hmm. Perhaps it's just the reasoning for those acts you don't and understand. How adept must one become at making excuses for one's actions if suffering is the result? How long before you stop making excuses at all? It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Purple, just you just basically got to wait it out. School sucks when you're younger. Oh, MLG. Do whatever is required, such as... I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Alright. Let's... let's see... Let's go to Tatooine because I really want to get HK-47. Man, the Ebonhawk is such a cool ship. Aww. <laughs> MLG. Hey look, it's a hyperspace. Oh hey look, I'm having a sleep. Now I'm having a dream. I'm glad I gave myself evil facial hair. It was a good choice. Hey, it's a Tatooine! I don't know why I got all Italian for Tatooine. And it's... I'm not sure? Moss Eisley, I think? <laughs> purple. That was funny. Listen, this game was made in 2003. Making fun of its uh, us, uh, its graphics like doesn't even make sense these me. days. Did you see it? Of course. It looked good when it came out. The force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Looked like it was inside some kind of cave. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Mm, that's probably true. All right, Purple, you want to keep making fun of the 14-year-old uh, graphics? Because they're, uh, they're pretty good for being that old, let's be honest. I mean, the lips move with the words. People have actual fingers on their hands. 
There's, like, character customization and shit. Alright. Um... Alright. I know it's gonna seem weird that I'm taking these guys. But it's for a good reason. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation potential is customer. ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Oh, is there? What if I say no? Zerka Corporation maintains this docking station at great expense. It is within our rights. Purple, I, Chewy that. does not get born for like hundreds of years, so I don't get the choice chance to kill him. That said, uh, there are other Wookies in this game, and we could maybe kill some of them. I can't pay the fee right now. I'm afraid you won't be visiting Anchorhead. Zerka Corporation hopes you will be a customer in the future. Guards, this ship is refused access. See that they... Huh. Do I not have the... Persuade thing? What's it called? I do have Dominate Mind. Why wasn't that an option? Nope, you spelled that right. Actually. Hello again, sir. I ah, there we go. I don't need to pay the fee, Force Persuade. Change your mind for you. You know, I don't think you need to pay the fee. We'll let it go this time. I'm amazed at how many people that works on. The entire galaxy must be filled with weak-minded fools. It's we true. Cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Actually, I just need to get going. Or, you know what? I'm done with you. Stay out of my business or else! Mwahaha! Look at my fucked up eyes now that I've gone, like, full dark side. They actually look badass. There is no need for that. I'm just doing my job. You are free to move as you wish. Let's see. Oh, wait. Fuck this guy. Oh, hey, wait. Aren't you Bastila, Helena's little girl? I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bastila? Since when is it pronounced that way? Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't be rude, Bastila. My mother's condition. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did you did you say anything about my father? That's a perfectly acceptable excuse to be busy, Vader. Welcome back. Do you remember? I hope they screamed as they died. I guess we should go see your mother. Part of me would rather not see her at all. I know purple, right? Isn't it exciting? 
we shall see. He's been here since the beginning of stream. I was so excited when he showed up. Oh, you mean uh, our main character that we're not naming? Yeah, well, you know. They can just rip the language out of people's heads psychically okay, with the force, so no reason not to know every language. What shipment was that again? The fuck did you say, Gizka? Oh, fuck you, asshole. Just infested by ship. They infested my ship! I want to kill him, but it didn't give me the option, purple. But look what they've done to my perfect ship! It's full of little runty bullshit creatures, and they... Ugh. Let's try and pick one up. Kill it. God damn it. Kill it. God damn it. There's too many of them. Kill it. They're infinite. They keep making that noise and they're everywhere. And I- you literally can't get rid of them. Every time you kill one, another one shows up to replace it. And they're fucking everywhere! Look! They're down there, and they're over here, and they're fucking all over the place. God damn it. I'm gonna get all over my ship, and they're probably gonna shit everywhere. God damn it. Alright. You know what? I was gonna do some stuff on Tatooine, but fuck it. We're going to Manan so that I can get rid of these fucking little ass wipes. That sounds like a good idea, MLG. Always good to get it done. Vader, Gizka are terrible. They are the scourge of the galaxy. And they multiply worse than rabbits. Purple, I assure you, it's perfectly possible. They are literally numberless. You can never get rid of them by killing them. I don't know what their deal is. They reproduce faster than you can kill them. Hey, look, it's a water planet. Oh, Vader. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps. Purple, I, 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 I swear, it's it is literally impossible. I've tried. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. I don't have time for your visions, Bastila. The visions are as much yours as mine. 
and they are the key to finding the Starforge and stopping Malak. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkath. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Oh, poor baby. You need filling in on something? You want to be smart, do you? Fine. So long as I get some questions answered. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Vader, yes, is. they do. They absolutely refuse to tell uh, you can I'm rather kick your ass. to know what went on and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? None of your business, frankly. None of my business. Uh, I'm sorry, aren't I a part of this mission? I mean, the Jedi may be in charge, but I'm risking all the same things you are. I've done pretty well so far. That is completely beside the point. The Jedi encouraged you to stay with us, and I don't believe the reasons they gave. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Mm, I'm sick of listening to you rant. Why don't you leave? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Oh, MLG. I am sick of listening to this. Just shut up or leave. Fine, you got it. Conversation over. Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Yay, we had a fight with Karth. <laughs> we got to insult him and shit. Makes me feel much better since he's a whiny baby. That interrupts all my fun. Fucking Gizka! There's, they're over here too! God damn it. And they're over here! And over here! And over there! And they're everywhere! Yeah, what do you want? Do you have any... more stories? We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much... Vader, they actually don't! Of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets <coughs> began to use more than just basic <coughs> tactics. <coughs> feints, Excuse me. Attacks. Mass Don't worry, possessions. I'm just dying over here. No, I, uh, was a I choked on some of my water. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. <coughs> what about the Sith? The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. Yep, we no small weaknesses around here, Vader, come. that I can think it's of. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy... And no Bothans to die to find the plans. ...that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions <laughs> of one person the Jedi Revan that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defense. You got this, MLG. I believe in you. Of his plans. He fought us to a standstill and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Mm, why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best. In a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Vader, Revan. Botham lives and do not matter. Do no one cares people. about Botham lives. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Nope. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Hmm. Well, for now, take you. Maybe you. 
get off this ship. Hey there. Don't worry. Okay, good. I've already talked to you all I have to. That's pretty accurate. It was pretty close to infinite. They just kept making them. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny. I like listening to this guy insult like the Republic over and over. By the straw, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras... I think it was probably more than 500. ...all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever I think it was like probably close to several billion... Worthless ...billions and billions of clothes. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. <laughs> oh! <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Damn right you shouldn't have. I'm gonna get out of here, though. I don't want to talk to you. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the Visitor Residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the Port Official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant day. Nope, stay, I understood nothing you said about directions. Good thing I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. I kind of expected there to be somebody here. Might I have an exotic species for sale? You don't say. I have some Giska if you're interested. See? Small bipedal amphibians with the overly high reproductive rate. Can't take them, you say. Hmm. But you want to take these Gizka off my hand, Force Persuade. Sounds good, MLG. You don't need any credits to take them. Dun dun dun! We got rid of the Giska. For free! Yay, and we get experience points for it. Yeah, that's pretty much true, Purple. The Sith are the only people with any brains. Hey, look! The Giska! They're gone! Ha 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 ha! So nice when you can change other people's minds for them. I think we're just gonna go to every planet and see the little, like, here's the star map cutscene. Oh, that sounds like action music. What's happening? Oh shit, we're getting shot!
Time to shoot people. All right, who's coming at me? Got to look at the map. Got you. Come on, got him. Woohoo! That was a good time. Always nice to have a, have a little space battle. Where are we? Oh fuck, did I go back to Dantooine by accident? I'm an idiot. You know, I just had a thought. I wonder... I did meet this girl. Fit it right? Those ships look pretty cool. I did blow them all up, so, I mean, they're nowhere near as cool as my ship, but, uh, still. I fear it's only a matter of time before this- You cool cool no, no Alright. Awesome. I got him to go away. I didn't get any experience for it, which is too bad, but still. Spinning does always seem to keep you from getting blown up. Alright. Bend to Manon, bend to Tatooine. Korriban! Yep, yep, I'm a nerd. I'm a super nerd. Purple's right. I'm a huge nerd. I went to the wrong planet. I'm having a dream! Hey look, I've had this kind of dream before! Know what though, I think I'm actually just gonna stay here. No, maybe not. I don't know. I should go back to Tatooine after I, go after I visit Kashyyyk. Dun, dun, dun. Ancestral home of the Sith. I love Korriban. Best planet. You felt it, yes. Another vision. The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. There are some who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. That's because they're right. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. That sucks, Purple. I always crack my neck when I have that kind of thing going on, but uh, that's because I know what I'm doing. You can definitely hurt yourself if you don't know what you're doing and you try that. Fuck you, I don't have time for your I don't have time for your visions, Bastila! The visions are as much you during yeah, the yeah. out things will become Won't the Sith recognize you? Maybe you're right. Most of the dark Jedi would only know me by name, but there are a few among them who might recognize my It's face. true, Vader, only the rock. Lots and lots of rock. No sand. While we are on this planet. Yay, Bastila won't leave the ship. Yes, talk to what's in your mind? No. Nope. Karth has nothing to say. Does Candorus have anything to say? Yeah, what are you? The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. 
Vader, you're not wrong, and I am absolutely going to try and tap that. But, uh... That's for later. She is kind of annoying right now, but... Don't worry. I have, I have a plan. There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Damn it, they took Revan's the basilisks away. destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And you eventually came to Terrace. Yeah, I came to Terrace. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. Yeah, Revan was they apparently no pretty OP. Battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges. But the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. Kind of makes but you wonder how Malik could possibly you. have defeated him I may if he was such a badass. Opponents worth fighting. You know what? You are a worthy companion. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want to know? Nope. You're... That's it. I probably should talk to Shahani. I keep ignoring her. Let's talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I should come to be a Jedi. To be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? You're right, it's gonna be boring. My attempt at humility seems to fail around you. So be it then. Go immerse yourself in something else. That's fair, Vader. How may I be... How? Yeah, fine, talk. It goes back a number of years. Back on my home world. We did not see Jedi very often. Especially where Cathar I... Cathar was... It, it is a, uh... Fantastic planet. It was not the home world of the Cathar that I... Alright, have fun, Purple. My parents Thanks for coming by stream. Place. And it was fun having you here. For another time. Rather, it was a human hive world. That I was raised on the hind end of space, a pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders Have a good of justice, one. heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. And then did you meet yes. them? Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Enamored, you say? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference, as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Yeah, Vader, that is actually... Oh, uh, like, fucking... That fight is a bitch if you don't know what you're doing. It's pr... It's, like... A lot of times you get to the final boss of a game and because you're so powerful by that point it's kind of a, a cakewalk. Not true with Malik. 
Malik is a like legit final boss. All right, let's go to Kashi. That's pretty accurate, Vader. Also, we are here, on the planet of the Wookiees. Let me see if I need have anybody to talk to. How can I help? Hmm? Sorry. I'm just thinking about my mother. It's strange to hear news after all this time. It's quite distracting. Should we have the opportunity, I would like to find her on Tatooine. There's only one small colony there. It should not be difficult. It's not that I look forward to seeing her. I just can't help but wonder what she wants. But perhaps we have better things to do. No, not really. Yes, what's on your mind? <sighs> Never mind. Your honey? How may I... I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. I am. I try to be strong, as one of my people should. But I know I am still weak inside. I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now, and I can still see it. I right, see Vader? Isn't that great? I was just like, hey, take off your clothes. And she was like, all right. And then she's been walking around like that ever since. I think maybe that I just need more time. Hmm. I kind of wish she would go back to the dark side. Yeah, what do you want? Ah, no, you don't have anything to say to me. Okay. Do-do-do. Let's make our way... Back to Tatooine. I think. Actually, hold on. Let me get off the ship with, uh... Some of these people first. Just mission... Wouldn't that be great, Vader? Maybe that's sexist and horrible of me, but you know, I certainly wouldn't complain. This hundred credit docking fee again. Don't make demands of me. I'm Jun Lama and I land where I wish. I don't need to pay the docking fee. Stand aside. Um, I understand more than you can know. Uh, 
One of the rare sorts that takes any language easily. Yep, that's me. Sorry, I don't have any other questions for you. Let me go back in the ship real quick, just in case. Vader, I hear you, but since the other worked so easily, Salvation. barely even seems worth it. He shouldn't miss this. He needs to know he can come back here. I decide who comes and stays on the ship. I'm not saying that I know better than you, but this is Zalbar's home. Don't you think he knows some things? Besides, he's got things here he needs to take care of. Yeah, well, fuck him. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Mission, is that you? It's me. Hey, Lina. it's Lena. Remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena, what are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Take that back, or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. Yeah, Vader. The Wookiees are actually pretty are actually pretty advanced, despite the fact that they way? live in a way that makes it look like they aren't. Though that uh, building behind me is actually one of the uh, circa uh, installations built by humans and other races that came here to try and enslave Wookiees. Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff Aw, wouldn't... mission. He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Your brother's a scumbag. And you won't accept it. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch your mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you and holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Oh. Sounds like you're better off without him. You damn well know it. He's nothing but a sleazy scam artist. If Mission knew it was good for her, she'd forget he ever existed. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. Hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. That's my key to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Ooh, man. Well, that was interesting. Okay, well, that's what I came to this planet for, mostly. No, Vader, absolutely. All of the, uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the chat just then. Uh, all the Twi'leks are definitely dan- I mean, like, ooh, look at that view. Anyway, let's get back to the ship. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anybody else I can get anything, any mission progress for out here. Let's see. Kendris, you got anything yeah, to say? 
Nope, you're you sure don't. Uh, I know Juhani's not far enough along. Hi, Bastila. Parth. Alright, let's go back to Tatooine. Vader. Kyle Katarn. Kyle motherfucking Katarn. Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy were my. Those were my childhood. I love those games so much. Kyle Katarn is a. Badass. MLG, I'm all about the uh, cracking joints. Knuckles, neck, elbows, shoulders, knees, back, everything. Vader, I'm all about uh, Katarn. Man, look at those ships. Those ships are back. I'm under attack again. Wait, that's a bad thing. Who's coming at me? Who's coming at me? Who's coming at me? You. Now you. Nope, now you. Now you. There we go. Woo, look at that badass flying. And back to Tatooine. Sorry, Vader. All the sand is coming back. Oh, you didn't like the Yuzhan Vong? They were definitely not my favorite, but I kind of appreciated it. Especially the part where Chewbacca died. That was actually a really good book. Alright. Let's take Mission and Bastila with us since they have missions here. Hey, <laughs> get it? Mission. Mission has a mission. Hey, <laughs> I'm clever, except I'm not really. Let's go talk to Griff first, or at least find out about him. Step back, fool! I don't like your toad! Hey, Vader, it did. You seem pretty hateful toward other species. Yeah, apparently. She likes to hear about how coarse and rough it is and how it gets everywhere. Much like you. Just get out of my way. We'll get these things knocked out of the way and move on with our lives. You can't just murder a whole village, says who? Murdering a whole village is my second favorite pastime. Stop shouting, fool! What's this about? Yeah, right. He seems angry at Circa for something. Can I help you? 
These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Oh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Force Persuade, you want to tell me about Griff. Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yeah, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. You mean he's dead? He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Hmm... So is he dead or we not? We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I Vader, I don't know whether they're actually much. saying I'm things in, uh... I could lose my job. Hatties or not. It's hard to tell. Then any type of reward for getting As I said, him? All employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Yeah, that doesn't sound work worth it. I want to ask you about something else. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. I want to ask about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting Yeah, fuck, license. I need to leave the city. Is there no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. Oh, so MLG, hunting. that sounds terrible, and I don't even want to think about that. destroy our and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you Can do. do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Done. Why pay for the gaffy sticks, though? Why not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides... They're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I will agree to do this for Excellent. you. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dunes. All right, MLG. You might try following I'll be here. our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. We wouldn't mind you escorting them. All right, I'll get back to it then. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Alrighty. Vader, I'm not sure that Jabba's been born yet. You know what? I don't even want to listen to you. It's true, he could be alive, but this is a very long time ago. Hard to say, one way or the other. Ooh, it's the swoop registration. I'm gonna have to come back to that. Hey, it's some um, Sith! Malak was most displeased when he or I guess some Dark Jedi. Alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Hmm, well, how about it be you instead to get the troll? I like the idea of you dying instead. Basila with the fisty cups! And everyone's dead.
Hmm. Some crystals, some lightsabers. Not a bad haul. Let's go to the cantina. Hey, it's Helena. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long... Maybe that's a good question. I would like to know that as well. As well as I, communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now, what is this about? Where is Father? And you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Master. That is part of the reason why I was looking for him. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? I see Bastila seeks out friends that are as selfish as she is. This is how you treat a dying woman? I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Ah, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. Vader, I've heard a rumor that he might not even be a Sith at all, that he might just be a guy that... a very rich, uh, Sith-like enthusiast that happens to have a lot of dark side, uh, artifacts. So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask? That's why he calls, uh, Kylo the master of the Knights of Ren. You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. But, you know, it could be anything, really. We don't know enough yet. Don't you want to find your father's remains, Bastila? What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human. And the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his Holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition, nor am I the adventurer my husband wants. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Island. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Well, shit. Uh, Pelagius? That seems like a that seems like a leap to me, but I guess he could be. I don't know, man. That seems like an extreme leap to me. But anyway, having talked to Basila's mother, first things I'd like to do, party selection, get rid of both of you, add Candorous. Hey, let's go to the droid shop, why not? Hey, HK47. Greetings. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Hmm. I'm not familiar. Let's see. You mentioned battle and protocol. Outline your functions. Refusal. 
It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully what do you mean, Vader? translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. All right, let's get back to my previous questions. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. All right, I'll see about purchasing you. Statement. The fool Thorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to... Aggressive bargaining. Does Hugalaka know you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. Oh, HK-47. I don't know, Vader. I think it worked out all right. My money is my own business. I don't know, Vader. I think that's probably that's probably too much like the reveal of Luke, I am your father, and all that. Too similar. Let me ask a few questions about HK-47. Anyway, I was pretty happy with the movie, as what as is. I don't think it's a great movie on its own, but I think it served as a very good introduction to a new trilogy. You don't seem to know much about it. Basilisks were always much more reliable than the stuff you see in the Republic or Sith Empire. I'm interested. Let's talk price. Five thousand? I can't pay that. I'm not interested. Oh, he came down quick. A thousand? That was quick. Desperate to sell. Perhaps I can convince you to go lower. You will lower the price. I deserve it. Drop the price or I'll see you dead! Fine, I'll pay 2500 Aww. But hey, I got experience! And it only cost me 2500 to get HK-47. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany He really you is a fool. Shall I kill something for you? Kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some yes. unadulterated violence. At your command, of course. I love HK-47. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. Yes! Favorite character! Travel with Thank me now. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited.
You know what? I'm gonna make him a strength build. That doesn't even make sense, but I'm gonna do it. Plus 13 to hit. Well, I guess he's going to be ranged after all. Yes, HK-47. Okay, now how do I want to do this? Oh, I know. There's some stuff back here that I didn't do. Where am I? Did I get lost? I think I got lost for a second. Oh well, this'll work. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. Excellent. People who have nothing are the best ones. Speak. I'll try not to take up too much of your time. I realize that everyone is after themselves on Tatooine. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, can you buy it? I, I mean, Vader, there's a huge number of species in the galaxy. It's a whole galaxy. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. What is a it's raid plate? It's a plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Let's talk about what to do with this plate. I can't sell it myself. They're worth more than 500 credits. I think I'll just take it from you then. Please tell me you're kidding. I can't get any lower than this, and you would take advantage? You will give it to me now, Force Persuade. I will give you the plate now. Here, take it. I... What? what did you make me do? Warning. Back off, female. No one lays hands on the personage of the master. Ah. You have no conscience. Nope, I don't. That plate was all I had. We're trapped here now. All because of you. Yep. Darkness, take you, monster. The role of the weak is to serve the will of the strong. I'm glad you understand that. Hey. I picked the right companions. They approve of me stealing from beggars. Do do do. Hunting lodge. Yes, back off, meat bag. I have something to sell you. Yes, that'll do nicely. Hmm. That's a good gun. Oh, MLG. <laughs> Uh, I could talk to these people, but I don't really need to. I think instead that I will go spend the last little bit of time I've got of this stream... Uh... Doing some swoop bike racing, because that's fun.
Alright, I believe you, MLG. You'll show me respect, worm! Thrawn is an excellent character. I love his whole thing with art. It's very, very interesting. I have that whole series somewhere, both in graphic novel and novel form. I do own a swoop. Yeah, Vader, I'm very excited about that. First persuade, I don't need to pay the fee. What sort of business do you need help with? Alright. Nico. What will you pay me? Yeah, Vader, I know. I haven't watched much Rebels yet, but I know he's in there. I, I really need to uh, find a way to watch it sometime. I'll see what I can do. Set me up with a race. I already paid the maintenance fee. You negotiate on the price? You want to let me race for free, Force Persuade. Force Persuade, best power in the game. Dominate mine, so good. Yeah, 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 shut up, I just want to race. Twenty-two fifty-two, pretty good, pretty good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Vader, it's not all huts that have strong minds, just most of them. This one happens to be weak-minded, and also I am particularly strong in the Force. Like, uh, it, I, I have the highest level of power for, uh, Force Mind Trick, which is called Dominate Mind. Uh, set me up with a race. I will pay the fee, because you're not going to negotiate it on the game. I already know that from experience. Let's go, let's go. Twenty-two forty-three. I don't know if that was better or worse. I don't remember my last time. Should still be plenty. I'll be back later. I need to know what the times are. What are the track records? What do you have on Zorus? 2251. I already beat that, so we're all good. Set me up for the race. I'll pay your thing. 
Actually, it's swoop bike racing, but it's way more fun. It's all time trial instead of being, like, you know, against other people simultaneously. Oop. Missed that, uh, boost. But it's a lot of fun. Ooh, I missed it. Fucked that one up. I'm gonna have to do better than that. Just set me up with a race. I'm gonna beat this fucking asshole. Shit, I missed one again. Damn it! I keep missing a boost and it's throwing off my time. Yeah, there we go. 2237. That's a win. <laughs> 80 racing bonds. I don't remember how much they're worth. I'll go sell them in a second, though. Alright, I'll be back later. I gotta go talk to Nico now. Get him to sign with the hut. You another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Nice job beating my times too. I guess my heart isn't in the racing. Contracts are distracting stuff. I talked to Mata I about you. You got a right to no track business, but with the times you've been posting. Why don't you want it's to deal with Mata? Not grateful. I mean, it would get me into the pros. I don't have the credits to get in on my own. Not that I care about credits. I just want to race. But the deal with Mata is pretty bad. He'll get most of what I win. I think you should sign the contract. Who do you now? You might know a good deal, I guess. You sure know your way around the track. Force persuade you will sign the contract. I... I'll sign the contract. Yeah, I guess that's best. Uh, I mean, the deal can't be all bad, right? <laughs> you'd know, right? And all I want is to race. Who cares about the credits? Who cares? Thanks for making things clear. If you don't mind, I think we're done. Goodbye. The weak serve and the strong profit. That's the way things should be. Glad you see things my way, Candris. <laughs> I really like, I'd really like to pay you more. Let's get out of here. I gotta go sell these racing bronze. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely gonna screw him over, but I don't really care because it's not me and I got paid to make him sign. Oh, you want my auto, auto print? Alright. Sure, why not? Scan away. I just want to go sell these racing bonds. Oop, wrong way. Basically, the hut paid me in his own private money, which I can sell around town for better, for real money. Specifically, I'm going to sell it here. What do you have available for purchase? Show sell list. Racing bonds, racing bonds, racing bonds. 
It's gonna take a while. But they're worth 60 a piece. So I'm actually making really good money here, honestly. Like I'm I'm passing I'm I'm probably hit 10,000. Yeah. Ten thousand credits. Nice. I think I saw that I had Yeah. Dark Jedi Knight robe. Much better. Black is always better. Well, my guy's freaking out. Vader, I'll be honest, I haven't watched almost any of the animated series. I don't know why. I think they just weren't really available to me. I really need to get go back and watch them. Because I hear they're excellent. I'm very interested in them. Especially Rebels, since it's canon now. Alright, I think that we will walk out to the Dune Sea and then end for the night. That seems like a good stopping point. Let's head out into the desert. Oh, gotta talk to this Jawa first. Yiz is. I like listening to Jawa language. Stupid creature, why can't you make more sense? Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. I did see Rogue One, Vader. Love that movie. That is a fantastic, fantastic movie. Truly the best new one they've made so far. And right up there with some of the original trilogy in my mind. What is it that you want, Jawa? Uh, alright. I guess I'm looking through my body. Sand people? I'm also very excited, Vader, that they put, put kyber crystals in it, because that could lead to some very interesting things. What do you want me to do? You will pay me to rescue your people. That's all you had to say. Alright, I expect payment if I do this, Jawa. Alright, good. He will pay no me, I will find his people. Proper authorization. I have proper authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. Here's my hunting right. license. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Oh, fuck you, I'll, I'll need it. Ooh. Oh yeah, this lady. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Uh, what do you mean, you're you old boys? You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know your kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. I have to go? You're creepy? I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Alright. Well, we're gonna end it there for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks for coming by. It's been a lot of fun. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. If you enjoyed the vid, if you enjoyed the stream, feel free to like it. 
And if you'd be interested in seeing more, I stream this every Wednesday. I also stream Shadow of Mordor every Sunday, which will be switched over to Shadow of War when it comes out. And uh, Brutal Legend every Friday. So, hopefully I'll see you then. Uh, and until then, I'm out. <laughs>